Hola guys. <laughs> we are at Thrift Mart. Be careful, not too high. Get down, Peanut. Do you need help? Let me get over there before my child hurts himself. Okay, what do you need help with, sir? The bags? Yeah. Okay, we well, don't climb too high. I don't want him to kick us out. And I don't want you to fall. I am not going to fall. You don't know that. You don't know how sturdy these shelves are. Anywho, we are at Thrift Mart. Little dude wanted to come to this one. He really likes this one. Y'all can see why. Um, hit or miss on the toys here, though, because a lot of this stuff is really damaged. But he wanted to come. I'm seeing a few things that I like. Mommy. Hmm? There's a big horse fly in here. It's really warm. It's 70-something degrees. Oh, Grover. Grover. He was my favorite. Bobby, Elmo. Oh, anywho, I really like this table, but not for that. I like it. It's old school. It's a shower chair. I'm telling you guys, every time I see this medical equipment, I want to swoop it up and give it away to our patients who can't afford it. But, quick sweep of the place. Looking and killing time. You ready to, oh, you're getting in? Careful. I want grandchildren one day. The Mardi Gras of it all. They probably picked these up off of the parade around in the neighborhood a few weeks ago. We have to take this. How rude. Oh, look. Those are cute. It's one of these that slips over the little light bulb. Those are really cute. For a sideboard or something like that. Maybe nine cents. Don't they have these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar? That's pretty good. Those would be good in a makeup um, drawer. Oh, that's nice. That's nice for like body sprays or lotion or something. Pretty little display. Goodness gracious, child. You okay? Yeah. Look, my crafty people. Hi. These I in all colors. I found a computer on the floor with wheels. A computer on the floor with wheels. What the heck? That's from SpongeBob. Oh, <laughs> okay. Random bags for the grown folk. A doggy leash. Some of these little audio cables. What are these? Anybody? Anybody? They look like those old um, chestnut roasters. What are they? Anybody know what these are? They're neat. Baby showers. Ooh, I wonder how old some of this stuff is. I see some nautical. Oh, that's nice. Phone case. <laughs> Aw, he's cute. For the patio. It's really cute. Aww. It's neat for Paris collectors. Oh, candles. Handmade candle, mango, and raspberry. Let's sniff. I got a bunch of them. Oh, that's nice. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. That's a nice size. Look, it's pretty. Kind of mercury glass, pink and silver. If it was purple, it'd be perfect for my bathroom. That's nice. It's a nice smell. 
Look, someone made a little candle holder out of a wine bottle. See for the tea light? Some new stuff. What's in here? A little bath set. Look, trinket trays or the picture frames. Keep a photo and save a memory. Are they picture frames? Because look, you could use them for like, oh goodness, like a trinket tray for keys or something. I like. Look, storage box. Dollar ninety nine. I gave you a flu shot. You gave me a flu shot. Yep. That's kind of cool. They're that price at a do at ninety nine cent only. They're a little bigger at ninety nine cent only, but that's not bad. Or if it's better at camp. That's cute. Might be a redneck collections. Standing against boring dishware. How funny. It's kind of weird. This is really pretty. Look at that. Four ninety four chip dip one. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, I bet this is stupid expensive. Six ninety six. I don't even drink like that, but that is so pretty. It's so heavy. Mommy, spatulas. Spatulas? Spatulas, silly. They're like little tongs. That'd be good for barbecue. Good for barbecue. What is this? Just a lid. A Revere lid. Oh, these are pretty. With a candle in them, that'd be real pretty. Old milk ones. Look. For dessert, for fancy desserts. Three piece for $1.49. Weren't we getting these a dollar each at Dollar Tree there for a while? That's cool. These are at Dollar Tree. Look, guys. Uh, nope. These are at Dollar Tree for a book. Ooh, we might be here a while. Lots of books. Me and little dude like to look at these. Look, every time I find these classics, I want to buy them and donate them. Why? Because somebody probably doesn't have these yet. Or somebody has a little person that they haven't read these to yet. Look at that. Oh, I have one for little dude, the same one that I um, gave him that belonged to my big dude. But this is just so awesome to donate to somebody. You guys, I have one of my Harry books. Harry in the City, I think, I've had since I was a little girl. I read to my big dude and then read to little dude, and I still have it. This is one that I'll never get rid of. Oh, well, I don't have Harry by the Sea. I have Harry in the City. Oh, Y'all know how tempted I am to take a sniff of these pages? Oh, I can smell it. Old, like the old school libraries we went to. Oh, I have to take this just for nostalgia purposes. You guys, if y'all are following me on Facebook, y'all know I am currently obsessed with this man's books. So that's coming home with me. So much to look through. I'm going to do a quick stroll through the clothes. I'm not really looking for anything. Little dude, 
believe it or not, even though just a few videos ago I said he didn't need any more, could use a few more jeans. I think his knees have grown teeth and they are eating through them. Hello. We're going to have to scrub you down, child. Come on, Peanut. Um, but um, I'm going to look through the jeans real quick and head on home and see y'all in the hall. Because, yes, I have stuff. Okay, you guys, I am at Dollar General, and I am resisting the urge to buy these awesome little candles. They're $5. They smell so nice. This one is also $5. These smell awesome. And they have all this cute stuff out. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Little door hangers. This one's $5. 350 so stinking cute and look 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 at that are these plastic oh my gosh these are glass so stinking cute I need to get out of here guys <gasps> oh, little dude would love this so cute look at all the pelican stuff Little wine tumblers. Oh my gosh. So cute. Did I have you guys on while I walked around that way? Oh my gosh, one of my favorite smells in the whole wide world. Let's see. Mmm, nummy. It smells like those dum dum lollipops. The, this smells just like the cream soda dum dum lollipop. That's nice. That's very nice. Five bucks. Line up. Oh, they light up, guys. It lights up. That one's lit. I don't know if you can tell. So cute. Oh. Mini candles. Look at that. Such cute stuff. <laughs> oh look didn't they have this at something similar to this at Dollar Tree last year there's our little succulents look at these so cute aren't these cute little bird perches guys those are so cool I love these I want some every year and then I don't buy them I don't know why Look at these little birdie perches so adorable oh I love this one so cute a little bigger than the ones at 99 cent only 350 these are cute little Disney Potters. I got my big giant mini one on clearance at CBS last year. I don't know if you guys remember that. Those are really cute. Little skulls. And then they have these little things for the mini gardens that some of you guys create in your big pots. I have this stuff for that. These little mini, mini picks. I have some of these already. Texas plaque. Oh, is that upside down? No. Look at the little snails. So cute.
Look at the little mini gardens and villages. Do any of your Dollar Generals look this wild and crazy and disheveled? This one's kind of a mess. Look at that. Oh well guys, I'm gonna head on out of here. Go pay for the things I did buy. Ugh, even my Clarence loving heart can't look through this. Nope. See y'all in a bit. Hola guys, how are y'all? I ain't even gonna bother to take this out because I wanna show you guys what I picked up in all of the thrift of it all before little dude comes home. He is currently uh, either on his way from or just finishing up his little trip with his daddy to medieval times. So I have a little time to play with. Um, it is a Sunday night and I have been thrifting since yesterday. Little dude was with me yesterday, so we hit, duh, y'all saw it. Um, he was with me yesterday, so we hit Thrift Mart. That was his idea. And then today, um, I had to go grocery shopping and stuff. And I hit um, Goodwill after that. So I'm going to show you guys that I picked up at both. Uh, hopefully my OCD doesn't go nuts with the towel out of frame like y'all want to see the friggin towel but I can see that it's out of frame and it's driving me crazy but anywho thrift mart hit and miss I really didn't find much but what I found I'm glad I did <laughs> ah, it's fighting with me sorry about the crinkling I found this little metal I was going to say train. Plain. The wheels are missing. But with all the Hot Wheel and uh, Lego wheels we have around here, I'm pretty sure I can find something to hot glue on. But I just thought it was really neat. It's metal and awesome. And it's probably going to be more for display in Little Dude's room than play. Because it's kind of sharp. The uh, propellers, propellers, right, are, whew, I'm burning up, guys. And I just got out of the shower. Menopause, probably. Anyway, um, these are kind of sharp, so I don't want him to cut himself. And some of these little uh, metal thingies are kind of pokey, but I couldn't resist it. I thought it was really neat. And I've seen things like this before, and I left them, and I always regret it. So I went ahead and got that one. And it's, uh, they write their prices on their things. That was $1.21. It is hot. Excuse me, I may have to turn a fan on. Hold on a second. Okay, I hope that's not too much of a sound interruption, but God, darn it, I'm burning up. I don't know what it's about. I did get two of these. You guys saw these in the video. They're Lori storage boxes. Um, they were $1.99, and I couldn't resist them. I thought they were so cool. It's 99 cents more. No, not even. They're $1.99 the 99 cent only, and they're a little bigger at the 99 cent only, but the plastic itself on these is thicker. And I like the size where I could fill in, put in probably different size eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that as opposed to the other long ones where you can only go one way or another. I thought this would be more versatile and you could stack them and it would be cute and pretty somewhere. Oh, look, here's a comparison. Hang on. There's one of the $1.99 ones. Very dusty, sorry. Um, and it's much thinner plastic than this one. And then this one is the one I got for a dollar. Or were these $2.99? Do y'all remember? Were these $1.99 or $2.99? I think these were $2.99. Yeah, these were $2.99 at, um, at uh, 99 cent only. So then this is a good deal. $1.99 for a three tier thicker plastic one. Oh, I'll take it back. That's a better deal. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Got that. Two of those. And I have plenty to put in them. No problem there. I did go ahead and bring home Harry by the Sea. Love it. 69 cents. Had to have it. And it has that. Oh, gosh. 
certain smells just take me back to when I was little. Crayolas, when you take a box of crayons and sniff it, it takes me right back to kindergarten. And this does too. It takes me right back to Fred Douglas. It was a little wood framed elementary school here in West Dallas many moons ago. It's no longer there. Vandals burned it down. It was pretty sad, but it was wood framed. Looks straight out of um, Little House on the Prairie. I promise you. I'm not kidding you. But that smell reminds me of every book that we ever checked out of the library or received from RIF. The Reading is Fundamental programs. Do you guys remember those? Where you would get free books. That was so awesome. And then I did go ahead and get to the Where the Wild Things Are. It has the the uh, Caldecott little uh, sticker on it. And that was $1.41. And I'm looking for a home for it. Somebody who would love to have that. I, I definitely want somebody to enjoy that with their kids as much as I've enjoyed reading it to my kids. So found this little guy. <laughs> he was just there. I thought he'd be cute sitting outside on the patio or something. He was 80 cents. So cute. And the little dude earlier that day was playing with ladybugs. He was letting them crawl all over him. We love ladybugs in this house. I got the Nicholas Sparks uh, notebook and the lucky one. I have this movie. I haven't watched it. I'm going to read the book first. I just finished reading... The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. It was amazing. I also have that movie that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I like to read the books first because the books are always better, in my opinion, and then watch the movie. So I think I've watched this. Yes, this is the one with Homeboy in it. Uh, 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 what is his name? Zac Efron. So I think I've already watched this movie. I think I have. But anywho, can't wait to read the book. And then, of course, been there, done that. I have a copy of this somewhere, or so I thought, and I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. That was... A dollar twenty one and a dollar ninety one. So, all right. And then the last thing I oh hold on, there's something else in here. Oh no, this wasn't from the thrift store though. Ace bandage. That's not from the thrift store. That's from work. It ended up in there. The last thing I found was this little doohickey. Now, I ain't no expert. I don't know if it's real or not. The inside is kind of suede lined. It feels like suede. Uh, there's Louis Vuitton tag everywhere, but it's old and very loved. Uh, but there's a Louis Vuitton tag here. There's a Louis Vuitton. It's etched into the leather there. The little thingies are LV'd out. So I don't know if it's real or not, but I thought it was cute. I loved the colors. I don't like the brown Louis at all. And some of the color ones are ridiculously colored, but this one... Fake or not, I thought it was really cute. So that'll be good for makeup or whatever. Carry around in purse. That was $2.99. That's all I got there. So let's move on to Goodwill. Goodwill today. Is that it? Why do I think I bought? I guess not. I thought I had bought more stuff there, but I guess not. Oh, little dude got some toys that he's already played with. That's what that was. Okay, so Goodwill today. Walked in, and I walked in with the sole purpose of trying to find little dude some Ralph Lauren shirts. Um, he needed jeans for sure, and before I hit the mall, I'm going to hit thrift stores, y'all already know this. He needed jeans because here lately, I'm telling you guys, I don't know what's happening. His friggin' knees are just pulling apart on his jeans, and um, he's really rough on them like all little boys are. So he needed a couple pair of jeans. And then I, whenever I go to Goodwill, I always have my eye out for uh, Ralph Lauren stuff because I find that they're really, really cheap. Like I said, before I go to the mall and try and find them on clearance, I'll hit Goodwill and Goodwill is awesome for Ralph Lauren stuff. And it did not disappoint today. I found a little red school shirt, uh, $4.99. Y'all know I'm cheap, but five bucks for Ralph Lauren, I don't mind. I scored those really nice sweaters for him a few weeks back, a few hauls back that were also $5. So I just grabbed him that. This is perfect for school. You don't have to worry about coordinating the shoes with the shirt and this and that and this and that. Not that he cares, but I care. Uh, so just throw on some simple little polos and you're good to go. And I found him this one. So good school colors. I found him a plethora of jeans. Once you see one jean, you'll see many. So just, I found him two gaps, a wrangler, 
and something else. Uh, but the blue tags are half off, so I got this pair for half off. And yeah, I think I got them for a pair. They're in here somewhere. I uh, found them a little blue tag t-shirt just for summer, for whatever, play around in. $2.49, 50% off. And then this little one. Little Abercrombie shirt. The fan is blowing low in the breeze. Little Abercrombie shirt. That one also was half off because y'all know I wouldn't have paid no $4.99 for no t-shirt. Uh, and I'm assuming the jeans, the rest of the jeans are in here. Yeah, I'm just curious for myself how many I found him. Uh, quite a few, really good condition. And you guys, I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't thrift, Give it a shot, okay? You can wash everything, have everything dry cleaned if you're weird about cooties. Uh, I still personally, myself, am worried that some of the things that I purchase may be haunted and I may be housing spirits and poltergeists. I don't know. So far, so good. But that's what I freak out on. Like, where did this stuff come from? Were the previous owners, are they gone? Have they moved on, passed on? But that's what I worry about. But as far as germs and all that goes, that's what hot wash is for and dry cleaning is for so I did I get them one two three four okay I got them four pairs of jeans really nice I went up a size on some because they were in such great condition and because they're adjustable at the waist they might be a little long I may have to do a little rolling up uh, but I couldn't resist them they were all $3.99 except the blue pair which was half off of that Oh, hold on, there's more stuff. God darn it, he hit pay dirt. This little shirt, this is a Gap shirt. Not bad for $2.49, not on sale, but still $2.49. And then this I couldn't resist. Y'all know I love little dude in a sweater. And if this wasn't the preppiest thing I have seen, look, look at the little boat. Can y'all see it? It's a J. Crew, guys, a little J. Crew sweater for $2.49. Had to have it. The sale calendar tells you every day what's on sale and for how much percentage. Okay? Then, let me tell you guys, the purse, the purse game today was so awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys, they had awesome, awesome, awesome purses on display today. And I was so good. And I almost pulled out my camera just to show you all the quality of the awesomeness that was hanging off of these racks. But... My battery was pretty low and I didn't think it was going to be able to hold anymore. But, oh my gosh, it was amazing. And I did really, really well resisting a lot of stuff because I was on a thrifting budget this week. Uh, because I just paid for a little dude's birthday party and I just paid my mortgage. And y'all know, life, right? So I gave myself a very strict um, thrifting budget for this week and I stuck to it. So I left two purses that I really, really wanted, but didn't need, didn't have room for, probably will forget about and not put into rotation. So I was really good and I left them behind, but this thing I could not leave behind. I love it. I don't know if it's homemade. Okay. Y'all see this, right? Okay. It's a backpack. You fling it across your back like a bodacious hippie. It's so awesome. So stinking awesome. And this was $3.99. I loved it. I could not resist it. And I'm thinking I'm going to use it for all of little dude's Cub Scout scuff. stuff. His little, his book and his, you know, little badge thingies and, and just all of his gear. I think that's what I'm going to use that for. I currently am using a bag, but I think this is more, I don't know. I just liked it. Seemed more fitting for that. Then the only other things I picked up were like crazy, funny, sexy, memorable, according to Newsweek, the most infectious love story in decades by New York Times, and it won Sundance Film Festival winner, best picture, dramatic, grand jury prize. Don't ask me what year, because it's oh, 2011. So it's like a love movie, and right now I'm all about that. Friggin' Nicholas Sparks got me all girly-fied right now. And then No Good Deed, because I love Taraji. Love, love, love Taraji. So I grabbed that. Those were $1.99. Then I found this little friend's welcome with the apples of it all. My 
I'm not gonna say laundry room, my laundry closet with my washer and dryer in it, I have packed full of apple decor and I thought this would be really, really cute to go in there. And that was $1.99. And I found a couple more things I wanna show you guys. Oh gosh, my shoulder is still not 100%. I found these, they had a bunch of these, bunch of them. Little, it's wood, wood scrolly with a, let's see if you can see how y'all are perched. There y'all are, see my candles. Had a whole bunch of them, they were $1.99, so I grabbed two. But then, when I, looked at them the box itself says pair of two pair of two so both of these were supposed to be in one box but they were all scattered everywhere and they priced each one individually for $1.99 and I almost questioned them but then I said you know what girl stop being cheap you really like them they're really cute they're gonna go in my gallery upstairs somewhere among my pictures i'm pretty sure i know where i want them now that i'm thinking i should have probably gotten three for the space that i'm thinking about but i'll make two work i just thought they were really nice and they were originally from pure one and pure one sold these suckers for 32 dollars don't they have something similar to this at dollar tree just in smaller scale Am I wrong? You put four of those together, you have something very, very similar to this. I'm telling you, I don't get people. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Pardon the interruption, little dude just got home and it took a while for me to hear and hear and um, he got a little upset. The anxiety that comes along with autism sometimes pokes its nasty little head and um, he thought I wasn't home, so I had to calm him down. He is now comfortably, by his choosing, uh, in the room playing with the cat and watching SpongeBob. I told him I'd be right back in right after this, so he's okay. Trust me, he's okay. He needs his space after trauma like that. Um, but anywho, let me finish up. I forgot where I was. Um, I showed you guys the little mirrors, right? Yes, perhaps, yes, I showed you guys these. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys at Goodwill, there's a little story behind it, so let me tell that little story. Uh, my friend, Miss Hopeful Hen, here on YouTube, y'all hear me talk about her a lot, um, did a Miss A haul where she bought these friggin' adorable little Mickey Mouse cubic zirconia stud earrings. It's a big one for the face and two little ones for the ears. Oh my gosh, as soon as I finished watching her video, I had to get on missa.com and I tried to go on there and order them and they were sold out and I was like heartbroken because if you all know me at all, y'all know I'm all about the mouse and those were the stinking cutest friggin' things on the planet and I wanted them, wanted them, wanted them and I know in Miss A world, uh, sold out means we ain't gonna see them for a very, 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 very long time. So I was very disappointed about that. So today when I was at the Goodwill, I went to go check out the jewelry. And let me tell you why I went to the jewelry counter. Y'all remember a few weeks back, I did a come thrifting with me video and I saw this enamel swirled bracelet. And um, I remember showing you guys and I was gonna buy it. And I pulled the card for it to take up to the register. They took the jewelry to the register and I forgot to ask them for my stuff. I don't even know what I did with the little card, but Today I had it in mind, oh, I wonder if it's still in the bath, in the the, the display, because I would have loved to have bought it. I would have remembered this time, but it wasn't there. But what I did see, I kind of quickly glanced through it, was a silver bracelet, um, and I thought it was kind of pretty. It had a little, uh, a little bling in the middle, and then I got to looking at it a little closer, and my heart just out my chest, because guys, look. It's Mickey. And when I first looked at it, I'm like, I got all happy. But then I was like, okay, don't get too excited because it looks like plastic. It's probably plastic. And if it's plastic, the silver's going to fade off of it. And if it's metal, it's probably going to be all faded and gross in the back. But no, she pulled it. And then I said, that ain't going to fit you. That ain't going to go around this. But it does. And room to play. Pardon my little um, bug bite. I don't know what that was, but look, isn't that the prettiest thing? So I got my Mickey fix. 
I got my Mickey Fix in a bracelet and it says China. So heck, for all I know, it might have been a Miss A product. I don't know. But that was $3.99. All of their jewelry is $3.99 and I am so geeked out about it. Now, even if I have to wait a little while to get the little studs, I'll be okay because this is so gorgeous. I would have little dude come in here and say goodnight to you guys because I know he knows I'm making a video and I know that he likes to do that, but I'm going to go check on him, make sure he's cool. He walked in here with all kinds of medieval times, excellent stuff. I mean, really, really cool stuff. So maybe he'll want to show you guys my next go around, but until my next go around, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an awesome week. Uh, stay dry where it's wet, stay warm where it's cold. And until I sit here with you all once again, love y'all bunches. Bye. Okay, I went in to sit with little dude and he asked me if I was finished and I said yes and he said, but I didn't get to say goodnight. So here we are. And he does want to show you guys what he picked up. So <laughs> come here, turn that sucker on. Turn it off. <gasps> Look at that. It's bigger than he is. That is so awesome. Did you like the show? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. And this dragon, all medieval timey of it. And he can actually touch my ceiling. So you had a good time? Yeah. Would you tell our friends on on YouTube to go to Medieval Times? Yeah. You think they would like it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's say good night and get... Don't bring up your nose. <laughs> let's say good night and get ready for our evening so we can relax. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Once again, till my next car Thank you guys for watching. Please don't hurt yourself. Bye. Right. Oh. Bye. That is so cool.